Good morning, teacher. Your class was very interesting. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Dave. By the way, I have already checked your homework. That's great. How much did I get on my homework? Was it good? Well, I'm afraid to tell you that. It was not good. You failed. You had a lot of mistakes. Oh, I see. I'm sorry about that, teacher. I promise I'll do better next time. Yeah. But first you need to know where you are failing at, so you can improve your English. In your case, you need to improve your writing skills. You had a lot of mistakes on that. I know, teacher. It's difficult for me. But that's okay. I only want to speak English. I, I mean, L am not interested in writing perfectly. What I want is to speak fluently. I think you're wrong. Writing skills are also very important if you want to speak English. I don't understand. Can you please explain it to me, teacher? I don't get it. English writing is considered to be an essential skill for success in the modern global economy. Writing is an incredibly powerful skill for English learners that will help you improve your vocabulary, stop making the same mistakes, and become a more confident and eloquent speaker of English. You can speak better English by improving your writing. Yes, you heard that correctly. Improving your writing really can improve your speaking. Writing is an active skill, just like speaking. Now, I will tell you how you can improve your writing skills, so you can improve your English. From sending emails to preparing presentations, writing is often a day-to-day -day task in many professions. Writing skills go beyond grammar and spelling and is something we can get better at with time and practice. First, you can review grammar and spelling basics. Grammar and spelling form the foundation of good writing. Writing with proper grammar and spelling communicates your professionality and attention to detail to your reader. It also makes your writing easier to understand. Plus, knowing when and how to use less common punctuation, like colons, semicolons, and M dashes, can unlock new ways to structure sentences and elevate your writing. Seriously. Read what you want to write. Knowing what a finished piece of writing can look like can guide your own. If you're trying to write a humorous short story, read humorous short stories. Writing a book review? Well then, find a few and take note of how they're structured. Pay attention to what makes them good and what you want to emulate. Without plagiarizing, of course. If you're working on a school assignment, you can ask your teacher for examples from past students. Make reading a part of your everyday life to improve your writing. Try reading the news in the morning or picking up a book before you head to bed. If you haven't been a big reader in the past, start with topics you're interested in or ask friends and family for recommendations. You'll gradually begin to understand what subjects genres and authors you enjoy. Proofread. 
While it's tempting to submit work as soon as you're done with it, build in some time to revisit what you've written to catch errors big and small. Set your work aside before you edit. Try to step away from your writing for a day or more so you can come back to it with fresh, more objective eyes. It really works. Now, if you could say something in fewer words, do so. Being unnecessarily wordy can cloud your message and confuse the reader. Pare down phrases that are redundant, repetitive, or obvious. Read out loud. Reading out loud can help you find awkward phrases and areas where your writing doesn't flow well. Get feedback. Whether you're writing emails or essays, asking for feedback is a great way to see how somebody besides yourself will interpret your text. But how can you do it? Approach a trusted friend, family member, co-worker, or instructor. If you're a student, you can ask your teacher or a partner. You might also consider forming a writing group or joining a writing class. Write, yeah. Like many skills, one of the best ways to improve your writing is to practice. Here, I'm going to tell you a few ways you can get started, so I want you to take notes of it. Start a journal or a blog. Join a class or writing workshop. Practice free writing. Write letters to friends or family. Put together an opinion piece for your social media. Now, you can also practice your writing skills with these videos. How can you do that? Well, you can listen to the video, pause, and then write the sentences or phrases you listen. Then you can check if what you have written is correct by checking the text on the video. And the great thing about these videos is that you can set it slower or faster to increase your typing level. You have no excuses for not improving your English writing skills. Do you get it? Yes, teacher. I really appreciate your tips. But which of them worked best for you? Oh, the one that worked best for me was to write a diary. How did it work? Well, I had a notebook. It was a special notebook where I used to write everything every day. When I got home from work or from the institute, I used to write how my day was. I described everything. I woke up today, then I took a shower. After that, I had a delicious breakfast. Also, important events. Met a beautiful girl today. I like her a lot, but I can't talk to her. My dog died today and I feel very sad. Tomorrow I will have an exam and I think I won't make it. Just write whatever you want. And if you need to get your writing corrected, you can ask your teacher or a trusted friend who is better than you at English to correct your writing or now with internet we can do it ourselves just go to Google Translator and check your writing anyway the important is that you write in English as much as possible every single day. I will start writing a diary then. Thank you very much, teacher. I appreciate your help. Well, if you really appreciate this class, don't forget to like this video and comment.
Take care. I hope you like this conversation. Millions of thanks for watching. Please like this video and share with your friends and subscribe this channel for more. Thank you.